Welcome back to Physics with Miyoshi. Today we're going to talk about vector addition with vectors that are not perpendicular to one another. Uh, the first part of the, the, the first thing you got to do is learn the steps. And the steps in the case of vector addition are really the same that you would have in many um, problem solving. But draw a picture. Remember to put your tail the head, tail the head uh, as you are drawing your picture and then remember your resultant always goes from the very first tail to the very last head so my C in this case will be there. Uh, then make sure you break your um, your vectors into components so A in this case is 145 meters 20 degrees east of north B is 105 meters 35 degrees south of east and what I'm going to do is break them into components over here and I'll show go through that part. Then we're going to add our X components We'll add our y components, and then we'll find the resultant with our Pythagorean theorem and our tangent, just like we did before. Um, so, how do we break things up into the, its components? When we take any vector, any vector can be broken up into x and y components. And so I'm going to take this guy, if I know it's 20 degrees um, east of north, then what I can look at is I can look at my tangent or the definition of my trigonomic function sine and cosine and I know that hopefully you remember if you don't remember then I'll tell you that the sine of an angle is the ratio of its opposite over its hypotenuse and the cosine is the ratio between its adjacent leg and the hypotenuse so in this case I have the sine of 20 is AX over the A, which in this case when I see there's no uh, line over the top, that means it's the magnitude only. And I have the cosine of 20 is AY over the magnitude of A. So if I want to find A, I would rearrange this equation and I would get, rather, I want to find AX. And AX, if I rearrange the equation, I find out that AX is A times the sine of 20 degrees and AY is A times the cosine of 20 degrees. Now, don't get just used to saying that AX is always going to be um, the sine of 20 times A and that the AY is always the cosine of 20 times A. Look at the particular um, look at the particular vector because the one we have here, I have my 35 here. If I draw my picture, my opposite is my BY, and so my sign is BY over B, and my adjacent leg is the BX, so in this case, I have my cosine 35 is BY, BX over B. And so again, if I want to find BX, I'll do BX is B times cosine of 35 degrees, and BY is B times sine of 35 degrees. Now, I already did these calculations and so AX is what is AX? AX is 49.6 units in this case and AY is 136 in this case it's meters I guess and BX is 86 meters and by is negative 60.2 the negative in this particular case meters the negative says it's going in the negative y direction so and that's that's consistent with what we see here now what we would do is we would take our x's and y's and add them together so here's our x's so ax plus bx and here's our, uh, that's going to be our CX. And the CY is AY plus BY. So here we go. Our CX is going to, or CX is AX plus BX. So I'll take these guys. AX and BX. I'll add these two guys together and get... Uh, 135, so this is 135.6 meters, 
add my by and ay. And when we add negative number, we are subtracting. So these guys end up to be to be 76.0 meters in the y direction. Now I'll do the Pythagorean theorem again. And I'll find out that C, the magnitude of C, let's just do it right here. C squared is 135.6 meters squared plus 76 meters squared. And I did all the calculations and found out that C is, or C, must be on the next page, 155 meters and then I take these guys and I take find the arc tangent so I know that the tangent of theta is here's my theta 76 over 135.6 meters so my theta is Tangent to the negative 1 of 76 meters over 135.6 meters. And I find out that theta is 29.27 degrees. So the resultant here is 155 meters at an angle of 29.27 degrees. And that would be north of uh, east. So, adding vectors that are uh, not perpendicular to one, or one another is just a matter of uh, breaking it up into parallel perpendicular components, adding the x components, adding the y components, like we did over here, and then finding the resultant the same way we did with perpendicular um, perpendicular vectors. So, vector addition with lines or with vectors that are not perpendicular to one another. We'll do a little bit more of these at a later time. Thanks for tuning in to Physics with Miyoshi.